Last week, we had base camp. So base camp is the first event uh, right after Apex. Apex is our national event. It's big, it's huge. There are tons of new faces, incredible content, games, and parties. But it can be overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> base camp gives Unbounders the chance to slow down and connect on a deeper level. This year, we got together at the beach. The beautiful Gulf Shores, Alabama, right next to Pensacola, Florida. Things were a little cold. It was raining, it was cloudy. The content was still fire. We had our speakers, Jonathan Brush. But you live in a world that's based on a questions-based paradigm, not an answers-based paradigm. Megan. There's been eight miserable hours writing the entire paper. Victoria. And one of the most powerful ways to do that is through mentoring. All giving talks about how to use your time well, how to invest well in building relationships. We had amazing keynote sessions from Liz Fox about missions, about storytelling. Guys, tomorrow we are going to Disneyland. And from Scott Grant about the importance and power of resilience. True resilience is the piece that's the foundation for all successful future endeavors. It was an intense, deeper look at what being Unbound means. Building the community is something we take seriously in Unbound. One of my favorite parts was the team building aspect. There were plenty of opportunities to do that. We we're out on the beach playing frisbee and volleyball. And we had dramatic reading. This year we read a bunch of Dr. Seuss books. But if I ran the zoo, said young Gerald McGrew. I saw the cat in the hat and he said to us, why do you sit there like that? And that is that. It was amazing watching the creativity. What was really amazing and fun to see was how people came together to shoot videos. All right, so we're shooting a little behind the scenes. I have no idea how this will go out, but it's gonna be epic. Well, it wouldn't be an Unbound event if we didn't try something new. We decided to go shark fishing. We have our very own Jonathan Brush to share the story. A YouTube channel called Gulf Coast Nation, they did shark fishing from the beach. And it's just crazy footage of them pulling in these sharks, hammerheads, tigers, makos. How cool would that be if we could go down and do base camp and then one night go out fishing and catch a shark? On Sunday night, they came in, uh, quite impressive, uh, nice folks to deal with. Um, but then here's where things went <laughs> a little sideways because I thought if we got into sharks, uh, that we you know have four or five or six, I don't know what I thought. And so of course we put the rods out and we're watching for a while. And then I kind of talked to the guy and I was like, yeah, how many how many sharks you guys want to catch tonight? And he says, oh, we normally get at least one a night. Sometimes we double. <laughs> and so that kind of that kind of changed my perspective a bit. And then we wound up getting no sharks. You know, is this normal? And uh, he said, oh no, this is this is the first time this has ever happened to us, which honestly made it worse. I'm not sure why we were not uh, lucky when it came to shark fishing, uh, but it was an interesting experience. Uh, it's kind of fun to tell people we did it, but the thing that I thought was going to be the coolest part of base camp kind of turned out to be an empty hooked bust. So yeah, shark fishing wasn't exactly a success, but this happened. We're going for a late night swim. <laughs> In the ocean where we're shark fishing. Let's go, gentlemen. Woo. Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. Get your head back. We ended that final night with some dancing. It was a ton of fun. Monday rolled around, we all packed up, 
got ready to leave. A lot of us headed to the airport. And so I asked the question, was Basecamp 2022 a success? Some of us started the week as acquaintances. But everyone really caught the unbound spirit of the Lord has placed us here in this time to go out and to serve him well in our local communities, to use our education well in the real world. We truly ended the week as family. I am so excited for Capstone coming up. If you don't know, Capstone is the event that is kind of the climax for the third leadership course. If you're an Ascend student watching this, you'll be taking all the leadership courses. If you are curious about the Ascend program, check out the links below because there will be a lot more information on how you can join the program, be a part of this really vibrant community. Guys, be unbound. I will see you at Capstone.